As I pray for understanding, the ministry drawing near, the Spirit moved me. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand on your feet, and I will speak with you. Then the Spirit entered me when he spoke to me and set me on my feet, and I heard him who spoke to me. For you were not sent to a people of unfamiliar speech and of hard language. And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, just as Aaron was called. Therefore he says, while he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, that God has chosen the foolish thing of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak thing of the world to put to shame things which are mighty, that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him you are in Jesus Christ, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. It is written, He who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to all nations. He who glories, let him glory in the Lord.